Thank you for joining me on Travel Time today. My guests are Lori Olson and Cindy Bruflot. Thank you for coming today, ladies. I'm going to start, I think, with uh, just Cindy, just for a brief moment. This is Cindy's second time to Isla Mujeres, correct? That's right. And the very first time you went, you went with some uh, friends, and this time went you with brought... five women that time, and we're so pleased with the trip. Invited other friends to come and experience it with us as well. That's great. That's great. So she said we should pick on Lori a little bit today since this is Lori's first experience um, going to Isla Mujeres is where they went. And we're going to talk a little bit about um, uh, the resort that you girls went to is the Avalon Reef. And there they offer the not all inclusive and on Isla that can be really to some advantage. Right. We actually rented a golf cart a couple of days and just drove all over the island and found all kinds of neat places to eat. Also, um, Avalon Reef was very close to downtown, so we could walk and did that many times, at maybe five or six blocks, and explored many different options for dining out, whether it be breakfast or uh, a snack in the afternoon or for our evening meal. Now, did you have to go very far to get that breakfast? Because sometimes people are like, oh, I don't know about breakfast. And you know, actually, we could have eaten at the hotel, but we did cho choose to walk downtown to eat because there were so many interesting little places to eat. And I, we didn't have a bad meal anywhere. And, yeah, it was, just, it was really awesome. The breakfasts were phenomenal. Every, all the food was really good. It was probably a highlight of the trip, I think, is, is the food and the different experiences with and what about uh, shopping on Isla Mujeres? I know that's kind of a neat experience. Um, we've talked to other guests before that take snorkel and catamaran trips and go visit the island in particular for shopping. There were lots of fun little shops. Um, we, did, we did our fair amount. Also, and some of the beaches, there were lots of vendors that came around. So we didn't even have to leave our lounge chair if we didn't want to, to do you know a fair amount of shopping. I think we all bought swimsuit cover-ups and lots of different little things. It was fun to buy some of those things from the from the people who actually live there and make a living off of that. So. Absolutely, absolutely. Cindy, I'm going to ask you a question. What were uh, some of the things that made you want to go back to Isla Mujeres? I think one of the main things that attracts me to Isla is that it's so easy to get around and you feel very comfortable and safe. Uh, it's authentic. It's very laid back. Of course, the wonderful Caribbean waters and the Gulf beautiful. It's just, how do you say it's comfortable and it's fun and it just is very welcoming and the people are very, very nice. That's great. And I know Isla Mujeres is small too. About how big is it? Well, we're figuring, you know, a couple of different reports. It's about five miles long and maybe two miles wide at one point and maybe a half a mile wide at the, at the narrow point. And as Lori mentioned, we used a golf cart and got around, so we did some exploring. But you can walk a lot of places as well. And I know Isla Mujer, or excuse me, um, at the kind of the tip of the island where Avalon Reef is, there's lots of great snorkeling and shallow waters there too. There, there is a lot of opportunity to do snorkeling. Um, one of the gals that went with us did some snorkeling. In fact, right off of Avalon Beach is a, um, an area called King's Bath that has a lot of fun fish to, to, to see. We could see them from the beach. We didn't even have to snorkel oh, to wow, see the fish. Oh, wow, very yeah. neat. And I think some people really like that, where they can just grab snorkel gear, go off on their own time when they feel like they're ready to do something like that, and, and um, uh, you know, just kind of take their own time doing it versus on a trip. Did you do any... Um, did you do any tours or did you just explore it all on your own? We really went on our own. There were some opportunities. We could have swam with the dolphins if we wanted or visited the turtle farm. We just had so much fun exploring on our own. We went to a lot of different beaches and some other resort areas that were really a lot of fun, a lot of neat things to see. That It was a little different at each, each location. Now, we didn't mention where Isla Mujeres is. You actually fly into Cancun, and you'll end up taking a ferry over to the island. So I guess we should mention that to our listeners so that they know where, know where this is and where they can uh, request to maybe go to or learn about uh, trips to there. I've got to ask you girls then, would you go again? Oh, I can't wait. All right, great. Definitely. It was a All lot right. of fun. That's great to hear. So Lori, first time experience, and Cindy with her second time experience to Isla Mujeres. So if any of these uh, trips sound interesting to you. I think they've sold me to go. Um, you can certainly call us at Travel Travel at 847-9231. Come on into the Washington Square Mall uh, to see us or give us a call on our 800 number if you're out of the area at 800-542-5000. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you.